What's good, people? Rabbi Bry Jones here from RBJ Creative Studio, and today I'm bringing to you another tutorial. So today's shout out goes to Sandra Na. Sandra Na is um, also a YouTuber. She does hair, makeup. I mean, beauty, those things. I mean, yeah, and. One thing about Sandra now, I mean, she's, she's, I don't know how to put it, but then she has a lot of ideas when it comes to this YouTube thing. Yeah, so you guys kindly subscribe to her channel and um, hit the notification bell so that whenever she posts, you get the message. Yeah, so Sandra now for you all. So let's get into the tutorial. So first of all, today today we're going to learn something about um, like intertwining. I don't know if this is going to be the title, but I don't really know. But we're going to learn how to intertwine texts. So like I'm going to take O and C and just merge it some way. I mean, people have been asking me about how I do those things. So I thought it wise to I mean, get something out of the way. So first of all, you get your rulers in place and you get your text too oh this is way too big so for me i'll go with um gotham so i just hit on o oh sorry o yeah and um make sure you bring the o to the middle that's why we have a, a ruler so something like this that's our o it's too um how should i put it it's too ultra so let me just choose the medium so we we get I mean something a little bit thinner so you duplicate by holding um, you duplicate by holding alternate and dragging just like how I did it then we would have to change this one from O to um, C okay so this is what we're going to do we are going to do something like the um, is it Chanel yeah something like the Chanel logo but then this one is going to be O and C instead of the C and C. So, first of all, what you have to do is you make sure you rasterize both texts. But before you rasterize, you have to know that, um, let's say you might want to, I mean, come back and change the text for, let's say, O or C. So, you just, um, um, just duplicate the O and C and make sure you turn them off. Okay, so we have just this O and C here. And you make sure you rasterize both so first first what you have to do is you hold control then you click on the thumbnail at the layer side on the O so after clicking you get this um, selection that's the running ants then you move on to select and you go to modify and you go to expand so you, you, you have to expand by then you, you type let's say 20 I mean 20 is a personal preference so instead of 20 you can type 30 or I mean, it depends on what you want so expand by 20 pixels then okay so it loads and this is what we get i think it's too thin so let me add another 10 to instead of so expand by another 10 then yeah so what, what i'm going to do is i will make sure i select the c because we need to use the selection of the o to clean the c so you select the C, then you choose your eraser. So I have my eraser here. So what I have to do is just clean the C. So the the, the main reason why um the main reason why it's the C that's going that's um, um clearing away is because we selected it here in the layer section and we used the selection of the O to clean the C. Okay, so Control D for deselect. And this time around, instead of selecting the O again, you hit on the control and hold and click on the thumbnail here for the C and go to select, modify, expand, and we expand by 30. So we want to clean from this side. So you just have to, I mean, select the O instead of selecting the C because we've already used the O, that's the selection of the O to clean the C. So now we've selected the C, so we are using the selection of the C to clean the O. So you come to this side, 
and just you clean away you just clean away and there you have it it's intertwined now it looks like a chain kind of thing i mean yeah so guys yeah i mean today's video is very brief yeah because i just wanted to get this out of the way because people wanted me to i mean get this out there so thanks for watching subscribe to the channel i mean like comment if you have any question and make sure to also subscribe to sandra nas youtube channel i mean yeah and do all those things yeah i mean and yeah guys don't forget i have i have a, um, um, an instagram account if you're not following me on instagram make sure to follow me on instagram and my instagram is at rbj underscore creative underscore studio yeah kindly go to my instagram page and um yeah there's a whole lot of graphics works that i mean yeah so guys that'll be it for today peace out